Can I stop now? So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of Man of Medan. Guys, we are back and so far in this let's play, I've not killed a single person. Now whilst that may be because there's actually been no situations where I can kill someone off just yet, it's still a pretty good sign. We are just going to get straight back into this game guys. This is part two of Man of Medan and if you want to see the next part tomorrow maybe, that's about 15k likes, that's what that like button do. Alright, so if you guys didn't see the last episode, we just finished speaking with the creator just after we completed our dive. See what unfolds from so this point on. So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Mm -hmm. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, <laughs> when yeah, did you dude. buy the ring? A lady never tells. This lady was impressed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well played there, man, no? Not bad. Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Uh, Maybe yeah, where the he freak decided, those guys are? hey, I'll drink some. And then he got drunk. Maybe. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, so it sounds Fliss. like you've had some experience with this kind you of know? phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. And I'll go look for him. Captivating, huh? Oh, we found Pretty a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. Oh, we did. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. We shouldn't have taken that, perhaps. Mm, one of those optional so, choices, dude, you know? How does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? <laughs> See a response. Bro, that face drop, though, it was so nice. Let's be cheerful about the situation, Honestly, you know? I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. What, the one on your finger or so, like you did? I guess it's not you should good. Let's just right? Eventually. Mm -hmm, I guess so. Sentimental, let's plan it together. Dad can foot the bill. Dang, dude. All right, let's plan now this stuff you're together, man. my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. Look at this. Future I unfolded. I was so worried you might say no. Hmm, let's see. Reassuring or aggravated supposed to try to respond? Let's be reassuring, right? Seemed like a decent couple. Of course, couple. I was going to say yes, you dimwit. <laughs> I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Let's be all adoring. Come on. I love you, Alex. Give him the good moment he wants. There you go. Sweet. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. Baron up these. I'll go find them. You just relax. Take it chill. So what's going on? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Hmm. Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Do Let's we? Go get him. Sure. The freak were you doing, my guy? Maybe so... it's not worth knowing. Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Wait, they got magic shows on deck? Dude, this is kind of lit. Wait, hold up. Uh, apologize for my brother. Yeah. On behalf of my Conrad. family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Yikes. Conrad, beers, where are they? <laughs> oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Don't be like, dude, we saw the one. <sighs> Conrad! Do you really think you can lie like that to us? We know your characteristics by this point. Taking a seat, here we go. Ah, look All at right. this. Now come by out together? Here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Mm. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go get it. All right, cool. Hey, so, how does it's it feel to be a man post-proposal? That's what he's saying. Honestly, been carrying that around for a while. Oh, that's kind of sweet, you can hear all that in the background, so... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a camera, you take pictures with it. Wait, we're gonna look at this? Hold on. Look at this. Okay, phone looks a bit better, gonna say that. Skip through, just the plane wreckage. Okay. Damn, dude. These photos look dope. The Air Rescue Service at Con... What? Con Wynn Island, I think that says right there? Interesting. Wow! Um... I mean, I'm sure he didn't want his picture taken, but that will do nicely. We'll place that back down. So, we're looking for the document that we found. over the top, bro. You say bro for the... Dude, get the freak so, out of here. All right, there's something on the table right there. What is this? That's the bullet we found. So, yeah. take a look at this thing here. Don't know if there's any information on it. Just simply look at it. We'll place that back down. Oof. Now, hopefully those dudes don't come back, because if they see a bullet on the table, they're going to know that we've done quite a bit of uh, looking around there, I guess. The best. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Got a bit distracted, oh, no, my dude. Not yet. I got distracted. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look then. All right, I guess we won't be doing much more. Let's see, what is this then? Straight to the case. Got it. Let's go up. All right, man. Dude, I wanted to look around this place, but okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some bio here on the go. Dixon. Okay. Bro, are you lying? <laughs> Always an excuse. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right see how here. This unfolds, then, huh? Should be interesting. Everyone's got a beer now, so everyone's chilling. You know, everything's done. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get well, no Brad resistance there. <laughs> Say no to All right, that. everyone. He knows. Check it out. 
Mm -hmm. Manchurian now, gold. He's not gonna be happy. He wants to find some sunken treasure. Mm. So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe well, the plane's destination? Do you think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. She's in wow. on the plan. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, hmm. that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. Yep. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. Oh. All of you. Yeah. Excuse me? I, I told you to leave kind. everything down there alone. Oh, this come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Hold up. Whatever you took, it was too much. She's superstitious right now? Hold up. So nobody knows. Do I think we took... I should have right. took the bullet. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. She looks like she said that with a bit of attitude. Mm, not happy okay. about that. Maybe. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. Bad luck, It's huh? bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. She does it's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe <laughs> I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not mm. like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn okay. straight. Mm -hmm. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Bruh, how do you transition? Yeah, I heard Flesh a story. This is going to be like... Happened right Raging around right now, dude. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Could we really? I don't think this is good. Let's hear it. Skeptical. I don't know. I, dude, I don't know so I much. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary okay. story. So the dude wants to share it. Scare away, little bro. <laughs> okay. Here goes. All right. This story is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic snacks, setup. by the way, guys, Wait. real quick. Here we go. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. Yeah, very true story. The lighthouse then. Right there. stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. So, what, even the lighthouse rhymes keeper right would now? hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. And he hurries her back to the lighthouse. He asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. This dude, shush! I want to hear this. Come on, Conrad, be quiet right now. This is the interesting. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years, and the woman becomes hysterical. And his sister parents are upstairs. Dang. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. What? Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just Alex, reporting the facts. Listen, man, Lichets come on, be all, quiet. Chopped up into little tiny giblets. Dude, they're axe. about to have a stir fry with that thing, you know? You should embellish the facts. You, you should. Know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Uh huh. Okay, so. Who did it? Depressing question, so, huh? The woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's mm. still here. In the closet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, mm. no backseas. You're locked in. Yikes. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. Mm. But he's cut his own throat. Dang. Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the Why dark. Why am I shivering right now, dude? Closer. Closer. Lightning in the back. Wait for and the sun. Sees, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's wait, his wait. own oh, wait. face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh, God! <laughs> so Dang, gross. dude. Hey, well, How the freak you destroy your face nice. like that, right? <laughs> oh, nice man. one, Squire. Good ghost story right there. Let's see. Cool story wasn't scary. Look, give him the benefit of the doubt. You have me going. Pretty cool. Not bad. Heavy on the oh, cheese there, corn dog. Uh huh. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Because according oh. to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations so are these? <laughs> yeah, right. It's His own. Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh -huh. Basically an excuse. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
The internet. In his brain. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. Right. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and more good, buddy. And I'm hey, out. Dude. Yeah, of course, Brad can't take the beers. This is the sequence we played before! Alright, now listen, I got a working controller this time. Let's see if things can go just a little bit better. Whew. Everyone's asleep. That would be so chill, right? Kinda anyway, I guess if you're scared of storms and like scared of the ocean, not so much. And of course my cat decides to go out at this perfect time. Woo! They're back. Definitely the fishermen. There ain't no lock on that door. Making his presence known amongst these guys. Fast asleep, completely oblivious. Oh, it's too late for these guys. Way too late. Look at him creeping in. We got these QTs coming in, my dude. Touch that shoulder. Okay, why? Now freak off me, my dude. Woo! Dodge that one. It's the next promise. X. Give me that bow. Take it to the forehead right there. Was it enough? Oh, he got a knife. Okay, yeah. He won that one, unfortunately. Dang. Everyone else already chained up. No talking. <gasps> Bringing everyone in the same room, right? Uh -huh. <clears throat> A makeshift prison cell. What the freak would you even do in this situation? Right? Yeah. Even Fliss, the one who owns the boat. He's like, sit the freak down. Listen to me with my one fish eye. I make the orders right now. So what the freak could they even be planning, right? I don't actually know. Okay, ungag or ungag? You know, we talked to Fliss first. Listen, she's the one who owns the boat. And also, it's Conrad, man. It makes us look pretty good, you know? Let's tear this crap off. There we go. So what's the plan, Fliss, huh? She even has one. Are we going to get ungagged right now? I think so. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's see, what can we do? We can talk to Fliss or ungag Alex. Let's talk to Fliss, hold up. She might have some input. She was the last one to come in here. I just had to piss them off, didn't you? <laughs> Probably was Comrade's fault, to be honest. Yeah, I think he knows it too. Uh, Indigenant or Samba? Come on, let's be sorry. God damn it. This is all my fault. Maybe I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it right now. I don't think they care if you're sorry. Uh, there we go, so Julia can now speak. Coming back through, they are. My guy's head bleeding up a little bit. What happened, huh? Take a glass bottle to the forehead? Yeah. Hey, who's taking hey, Fliss? Stop it! Uh oh. They don't comment on the fact that the mouth thing is missing either. Door seals are behind. Almost free. Keep it going, Julia. There we go. So how are we going to get out of this scenario, huh? This off. Now we can all talk to one another. We can hey, kind of like so, fix uh, the plan. Good news, bad news. Bad news? How's the others get any worse? The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Yeah. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Oh, great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How, how was that, that good news? I thought you <laughs> would ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Oh, excuse. What are they gonna do to us? Yeah, they're gonna chop know. you up these little tiny pieces. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Oh yeah, investigate and tie. Hmm, investigate. I think we did this last time. Let's see. There's Conrad. Take a peek through there. How's Fliss looking? Where the freak the other three guys are, huh? What do you see, huh? You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. She's giving them the mouth. I wonder if she yeah. knows them, right? Nice. He's coming back. Set the freak back down, comrade. Good stuff. Okay, we stood up. We saw something. Well, he's not happy. X. Whoa! I love how I say the QTs out loud every time, too. Every time, dude. All right. In the shin. Don't you call me that or I'll kick your other shin. Shouldn't say that. I'll be back for you later. Comrade's coming with now. Ah, oh, it's one after the other. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go f yourself, you piece of. It's 
when we just hear it little lady. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I think my throat got nervous right there. Wow. <coughs> Ouch. <coughs> Straight to the abdomen. Now I'll stop him talking for a while. <coughs> and another one. And that will smash that jaw up nicely. <sighs> Anything smart to say now? Okay, don't even look at the dude. So what's the plan? Flippant serious, what do you want? Don't mess with these guys. What? What does he want, huh? Oh, he taking the blade! No, 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 no. Let's negotiate. Hold up. I kind of like my head on my shoulders, you know? Oh, boy. Slow down. Easy. Yeah, he knows. Don't do it. Please just stop. Yeah, agitated. Come on. Just stop, man. Come on. We finish with the blade. Yeah, sure thing. Trace of data. It's not worth antagonizing them. It's really not. So he puts camera straight back down there. So literally, we got pulled out. We got a small beat down, and that's about it. How's that forehead looking, by the way? Okay, get off me. We've got to be compliant. Come on, we messed them up in the first okay. place. That's why they're peeved. Okay. Ooh, put that away real quick. Okay. Quickly, Alex. We're coming back. Hide them scissors, dude. That's it, that's it, that's it. Smart thinking. That casual, you know? You're talking about the weather. You're talking about the day. You don't matter. So what now, huh? <laughs> Who's next up? No one for now. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Get some intel between you guys. Let's see. Wait, wait, no! Ah, no. taking Julia no, now. Let her go. It's no good, man. You bastards! We'll figure it. Hey. Dipstick. Shut the f up. Oh man, we'll be seeing you later. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. It seems to be the males that are really annoyed so with. Sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Maybe she knows how to play the situation best, right? Did you see my brother? Did we? No, but I'm sure he's fine. Let's be honest. No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. Mm -hmm. These guys probably just want money or something. They don't want right. money. Tara. I think they want what we found, right? I think they knew what we were doing right there, and they didn't want us to disturb the ocean. Don't no wonder your Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Maybe. Okay. They're coming. Didn't hear what he said right there. Okay. Let's see how the door back up. So, Duda, what did they say, huh? What the f They said something, at least. Hey, hey! Are you okay? What did they do to you? That doesn't come on. They didn't touch me. That's the main thing, right? They asked about our parents. Money what? then. How much money they have? It is about money. Oh, ah. I'm so sorry. What? What is it? The wedding ring gone. They took my ring. Bro. Julia. It's okay. It's okay. When we get the ring back, I'm gonna punch him straight in the forehead without leave a nice indentation, you know, a reminder. Just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. They want money. If they kill us, they won't get no money. We gotta live the situation. Ooh, the lightning Three. sequence. All right, listen, guys. If you saw the last episode, we're doing this again, and hopefully it's gonna work out. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Comrade's got a plan, though. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. Now is it getting closer or further away? Right? Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. Mm -hmm. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Mm -hmm. Get some help? Maybe so. Get on the boat. They need to pay. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. Conrad being a the Conrad dude with the boat. The gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Maybe this time. Seven seconds. seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Now, I'm still thinking. We're, the time. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. Mm -hmm. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. We're going right. for it, man. Just stay focused and get to the boat. This is important. Get right. on that boat, Let's dude. Do it. Come on! It's the first chance we've really got to get out of this situation. Three. Okay. 
Right. Bruh. Bro. Bro. What are you thinking? Why did I wait? I was really confused. I thought on three. Just get to the boat. My bad. My bad, but we're okay. You did hear something though. You may be a bit on edge. Right, let's get through this. So my dude got a gun, right? Okay, gotta keep calm. Here we go. We'll see. Here we go. Keep nice and chill here, so with the heartbeats. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's give him the attitude. Alright, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Okay, escape. Let's do it, dude. Woo! Baron updated! Don't mess this up. Here we go. You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my That's a good boat. distraction, even though it's dangerous. There's the boat, same prey. Let's see. Is he going for it? Oh, he's going for it. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, X. Good. All right, B. Gotta focus, dude, gotta focus, gotta focus. Go. Come on, come on, come on! Let's go. And again! Yeah! Woo! So Conrad got away. Pointing the gun! We got a duck. Sea's awfully choppy. Bro. Oh. Oh! Oh! Perfect. Oh, I can't catch you oh with this old God. junker. <laughs> Dude, my heart was racing right there. That shot clocked me in the back of the head. I'd look like that dude down you below, you know? You have to. Oh my gosh, they're on edge. Conrad got away. They don't control this. That was sketch, Sit man. down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. They still haven't found Brad, which is a good sign, I guess. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! And I'll put my foot somewhere you won't want to see it, you know? That's all I'm saying. Dude, my heart. Literally from that situation. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was intense. Wilson! Man. Come here! Could have lost the character. Was it one Turing gold or something like that? They're, they're very interested in this most specific Which Maybe one of you is gonna tell Manchurian. me about this? Manchurian go. These guys don't look like divers, but I think they want us to maybe do something in this situation, right? Oh, Conrad's okay. Look how sharp the waves are. About it. We know as much as what's on the paper, right? Duke of Milan, 12, 12 a.m. So we're playing as Fliss for this situation, right? Don't do anything hasty with that gun, please. Connie can take care of himself. Maybe All right. these waves are choppy. Shut the f up! All right, don't get so edgy. Lay off when he's talking. Yeah, be reassuring with There's this one. There's no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. Okay. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on Come this. Come on, Alex. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. So what? She's the something? captain and they barely laid a hand on her? What about you, Gilman? them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I don't think so. How dare you? This isn't true. I, th I, I would can't be enraged. What but I'm hearing. Come on. Gotta keep I the just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Uh, so, what a cork in it. Your teeth looking like sweet corn, by the way. Woo! Sit still, all of you. Blame the waves right now. Come on. Jeez. You come with me. It's a fliss. Don't be so forceful. Okay. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fish. <laughs> fish joke. Ah, uh, uh, man. Okay. Get it. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Listen, we can say anything we want, dude. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Mm hmm. Dude, we read you. Everything okay? Over. I don't think so. Let me check. Let's see the options. That's for help. How about the storm, dude? Hey, uh, Find out for our benefit too. any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Mm -hmm. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. Got it, got it. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know 
know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Okay, let's see the options. Serious problems. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna try it. Hold up. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. Nice. We're starting to have some serious problems with... Hey. Decent. Just be careful. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was good to say that, I feel like. I really was. So where we headed, huh? Manchurian gold or something? Whoa! Dude, we're like fire cool right now. You see that? Ah! Wild! Wow, look at the waves really picking up. Whoa! Flood in the lower deck. Things sliding everywhere. I don't want the boat to cough. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. No idea what he's gonna cut. Right. Oh, they're getting flooded down there. Let's help out. Let's go. Right, here we go. How can we help? Let's see. Can you reach for the hand? There you go. Dude, I'm with these QTs hey. right now. What the freak is going on? I'm killing it. Now. Now I'm not sure. Awfully shiny. My eyes. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Down I don't know him. where he is. Let's see, he could help. He might drown. He could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Good thinking. Oh yeah, great. He's a smart you could get kid. killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. He'll surface if the problem arises. That's what that dude's like. You be ready, these waves. Dude, these waves. Well, even he's worried right now. He's like, what the freak do I do? Oh. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, that thing's gonna hit. How's it going, buddy? Nice teeth. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ooh. Yikes. Not good. Not good. Oh man, the waves crashing into the ship. Listen, we've got one solution right now. That boat is toasted up. Holy crap. Everyone's still alive. That they are, so far. Things could have been quite different. Bullets skimming my ears. <sighs> mm. I'm so ready for this game, man. This is so cool. And this is where the horror is about to kick in, though. This is what I've been waiting for. Even though the tension has been really good. I gotta say that, you know? You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. Ooh, okay. But does okay. this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? Aha. Uh -huh. I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Don't antagonize me. Hmm. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Ooh. Tempted? Is this a choice? Hold up. It is a choice! So curious, who are we? What will be will be? Now, dude, forewarned is for <laughs> That's okay, cool! Okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. Okay. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All mm -hmm. that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Interesting. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, For better or worse, I presume you're something. eager to get back to your story. Oh, but yeah. here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Dude, he's reaching for the liquor right now. Special feature unlocked. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. I think I get what he's saying. We're on that boat with those chemicals spilling. I think most of that, right, was in the character's head. There were so many broken situations where we would see the character, see, see someone die, and then in the next, like, ten minutes, we'd see them struggling again. So broken. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! We gotta get out. Oh, this is so interesting. How much... That door wide open! Come on in! Guess invited! Oh crap! Junior! Retire la tête à l'image! 
Look at that, he's going for it, man. She looks very, very worried. What is that? I don't know what that is. Clearly something important to do with boats. Go! Also directing us to get on this vessel! Oh. We all are making a move too. I wonder where Conrad is, right? I mean, it won't be hard to miss the boat. Is that boat docked, by the way? Dude, I don't even know. Do I have to sense that, though? Probably. <laughs> Jesus. All abandoned. Ain't no one aboard this ghostly ship. It's about to get freaky, dude. That's where it happened, right? Mm -hmm. Bodies scattered amongst all those busted vehicles. All right. As you say, my dude. As you say. It is. This is very, very interesting, dude. Like, dude, I don't know how to censor these words in French, so I'm sorry about that if you're French. I don't know, dude. What's this down here? Okay, this survived. Let's take a look at this. It's got signatures on. Uh, my guy. Bro, that was probably important, you idiot. What a maroon right now. Listen, we'll go. Fish brain. Oh, what does Julius see? This is a floating death trap. What? Oh, crap. What about Brad? He's still on the boat. Ooh. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Listen, if that thing drifts away, Brad. Rest in peace, brother. Listen, they look more terrified than us right now. Oh, boy. It's an awesome my bracelet. Hey, let me take that. Come on, give me something. So we're walking down here. I wonder if this is the... What the... This place... Ooh. Get back. What the... What is this dude? Dude, you've just seen a dead body and he don't even care right now. I guess we'll keep walking with this thing? What the freak, though? We got dead bodies in the walls? That's not normal. Also, can we talk about this poster, The Mask of Madness? I don't like this. I did not sign up for a trip to creep down. Yeah, same here, dude. All right, can we take a look in this room here? All right, ooh, look at this shot. What do we see, what do we see? We've got beds. Why don't we get the heck out of here? I mean, he's got a point, I'll give him that. Take a look, what is this? Got a name. Miller! Wasn't that our character, if I remember correct? I think so. All right, let's take a look at this side. I think I saw something else. Listen. Listen, it's probably not worth thinking about. Now, I don't want to go that way if it's going to maybe, like, break the sequence. I'm thinking we go back, we maybe see what's the way of the poster, see if there's any interesting items there. Because if we find something that might help our story or give a hint to this tanker, we'll be more prepared than those dudes when the time comes. Okay, and that was pointless. Great. So I guess we are just simply gonna keep on keeping. Making our way through this labyrinth of unforetold crazy crap. So he was looking at oh, something. What do you want, my dude? That wasn't in French, by the way. I, I, I recognize that. Uh, Yo, thanks for biting my shoulder. You get the free. I wonder what he was saying our damn for, though. That's a rat. Right there. Chill. How's that thing been surviving on this vessel? I wonder if this, has this been, like, adrift for so long? I assume it's doing some, like, Pirates of the Caribbean esque bullcrap where it just surfaces over time. No oh, idea. Internal memorandum. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he has to guard at duties in hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. William P. Ford. Oh, I should check the back, maybe. There might be something else on there. Or do we just put that in a back pocket? We did. So we can use that at a future point. Keep going through. Alex, you find anything? How about you, Julia? You're just gonna... Yeah, you're just gonna stand there awkwardly. Cool. We'll see you later. Watson! You're in part to see! There's okay. many doors everywhere. All of you. Into the room. Dude, look at this. They're just literally taking this for the moment. They are not going to have such a good time. Listen, man, Sans was right. You're about to have a bad time, guys. Maybe being in this room is the safest spot. They're locking us in. Hey, it's piss black in here. They don't care. Give us the light. They ain't going to give you nothing, right? Oh. They actually did. Thanks. Yeah, right? No interesting. The matches down there? No, we got a light already. Let's go. Why was that a QTE? Are you kidding? Can we like mess that up and it blows up the place or something? A use the last. What the hell is this 
in place. My thoughts exactly. Manchurian gold. Could it be? Take some action. Hold up a second. It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. Maybe. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. Maybe those toxic crates had the gold within and they were protecting it with the fumes. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah, we do. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? The dude took something from our boat, I though, I saw right? one of the goons take something out of the boat. Yeah. Distributor cap makes the oh, engine work. man. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to like get having it back. a remote without batteries. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Yeah, Alex is right. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um... You were wrong. I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Yeah, you did. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe you know, you were working some kind of side deal with these guys, so or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being of just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Nice. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Decent for someone who's very stern. Cool. Cool. Yeah, leave it there. Stop talking about it. All right, now let's investigate. There's a couple of things of importance. We'll start with the poster over here. Is this a flashback? SS. There was something down there, like letters ripped out. Oh, bro, look at the dog. The ship mascot. Heck yeah. All right, so we know of a dog. I wonder if we'll see a ghost papa. What is this? What do you think this ship was? It was a world warship, my dude. So okay, let's get this translated then. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some short leave with the guys, had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. If only you catch my drift. <laughs> Housework. I hope that boss is of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away. And all I want to do is keep you safe. I got a lot of time that to think while I'm spooked. guarding the cargo hold. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children we'll be happy together forever i love you so much miller okay that's miller once again so we found his like overalls i guess up above this is very strange are they new right there i don't want to jump to conclusions but i don't know they don't seem too damaged and in pretty good condition at least versus everything else what else do we see around here a couple of stuff to investigate this side what is this? We're gonna move it? Ooh, there might be a hole in the wall. Huh. Let's take a look. Aha, we got a vent system. Now that will be our way out. It's gotta be air coming in from somewhere, right? Hey, look. Look at this. Good find, Fliss. Listen, we could cover that thing up in between, like excursions or whatever. If we wanna go out and investigate. Interesting. Now, there was some paper just here, I think. Yeah, let's take a look at this, like a newspaper clip. I wonder why they all left it behind. Right? All these questions. So, what's on the back? Gangland Ling in 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagos Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the started goal of unearthing the... No, it's the Manchurian gold, maybe? I feel like the Manchurian gold is now like some kind of sacred curse thing. Because that's the vibe we're getting. Engine room. Mm -hmm. Still talk. Have you seen this place? Or... Yeah, this place is wrecked. Let's listen a bit more. Okay, so Olsen's the leader of these guys. And, well, I say that. Hold on, what happens? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so they're having their bicker. To it. They're very, very distracted now. Do we go back over to Alex? Maybe I should talk to Julia first about this whole mess? Yo, this kind of messed up, right? Uh, Julia. <coughs> J Julie, I guess I'll talk what to Alex think? then, right? I can't get it open. What do you need? Over here. Okay, now Julie's interested. Hmm. Can she maybe do something about it? Does she see, like, an opening somewhere? Ooh. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Uh-huh. Let's see. Could be blocked. This is the way out. Listen. Gotta think about all scenarios, right? I just right? don't know what shape the ship is in. Of course. This old deck could be blocked. Mm-hmm. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, no, 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 no. They were just outside. Oh, right? yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Not a good idea. Someone should create a distraction. I mean, that could work. This right? is going to be loud. But then they'll sure, come in the room anyway, right? Fliss, want to do the honors? Um, 
Do we have a choice? I think so. Dude, QTE inbound right now. That's what I feel. So barricade or distract. Let's try and distract, maybe. If it's barricaded, it looks a bit more suspect. That works. We're frustrated. We're annoyed. Hey! Hey, you dumb, sweaty mongrel! Yeah. <laughs> you got cheese for brains, huh? That's an AI tenant, so... One of your smells like barrel of bitches. That's right. Your mother's all sucking. Oh, damn. Oh! Good burn. Listen, you don't fear! Why am I doing this? We got out. I would keep making the distraction, right? Okay. Okay, that's good. Oh, they're going for it! They didn't think twice about the scenario. So what now, huh? We going for it? I am going to be ready right now, dude. Any QTs. They're coming through, they're coming through. Replace or hide. Ooh, dude. Uh, replace. This could be risky. Woo! Oh, man. So we're on the loose. And they're frustrated. Listen, you got what you want, leave us to it. You know? That's all I'm saying. Now we've got two problems. we got ghosts on deck. And we also got dudes with guns on deck. Stay quiet while she slams the door as hard as he possibly could. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Mm hmm. Let's take a look and see what we find. Oh, wait, can we go back in this room here? Hold up. Listen, we check everything right now. Listen, we flip this clipboard over. What are they documenting, huh? What's the medical notes? Extra guard. Ooh, duty regulations, okay. So, due to special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers. Double guard duty on all doors and all watches. No talking, no playing of games, smoking, alcohol, or gambling. Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. Damn. What's 3A, huh? It's in the mystery. Simply deepens more and more, and we learn more about what is going on with this ship, or at least where not to go, and where we can probably find, if it is on the ship, the Maturian Gold. Let's see, it's, uh, what, Fliss, Julia, where the heck you guys are, right? Let's see the, the heck is this? Do I want to be going through these? Like, dude, I'm kind of curious, like, I, I, I don't know if I should. Rags everywhere. Well worn. I'll say that. Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. Yeah, a smell probably smells like my butthole right now. Wait, what? The furnace right there? <gasps> I've been counting so far, dude. I've been jump scared by animals more so than ghosts on this game. Okay, what is this left? Okay, can I not go reach back in there again? Is there another rat just waiting to jump out? Okay, nothing. It's just observing. So what was that? Okay, I don't, I don't even know, dude. A washing machine? Something? Pfft, no idea. Anything else this way? Nope. Guess not. Okay, we're going back. Ah, here they are. It's just Standing so here. weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. Mm -hmm. It's not possible, right? right? Shouldn't be, at least. So, out of bounds, that's Cargo Hold 2. We know about that one. Uh, let's see, Cargo Hold 3. They said no one in 3A. It's right next to uh, Cargo Hold 2. So I wonder if that's what we walk through with the vehicles. That might be Cargo Hold 3. 4 and 5, no notes. So it's just mainly 2 and 3. And I think that's on the lower decks. And if I remember... <laughs> Yeah, I think we're on the upper decks, guys, just at the moment at least. So, yeah, let's get the freak back out of here. Honestly, these ghosts are messing me up. Listen, two ways we can go. This like flickering through here. We shouldn't be messing with this. But I'm always so curious with this stuff, dude. Always curious. Maybe there's nothing in this room. It's just a bathroom. Wait, hold on, we can go this way a little bit. Bathroom stalls right now? Ugh, oh, dude. <gasps> what the f- Okay, that gave me shivers, even though it was like a super obvious scare. I think because it was so in your face. That was really, really interesting. All right, listen, I'm taking this note. Some dude, whilst he's on the crapper writing love letters, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling, on one last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for you all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They sent them which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and I don't like them reading our letters. I know, it really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing around with me. There ain't no way we got to stow away. Our op guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this part out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. Gotta go now, honey. There's some commotion outside that usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. Look at those caps lock X's though. He mean in that business. So then, we're gonna see the dude. Oh, he's gone. He. It's gone. Listen, that just goes to show we're being watched right now. <laughs> Let's get back out of here. 
Okay, let's continue on. Conrad's made it. He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. Yeah, for sure. It's not really an answer. So we get to the end well, then sure. I think Conrad's made so it. Nothing. Oh, great. Listen, we can't lie. It's best to be honest in this situation. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, I yep. did. What the Something heck? Something moving around down there. What? I'm trying to see it, maybe. What? I'm not sure I want to find out. Yeah, but maybe it's worth doing. Going. I'm like walking no. to every corner, guys. No, I, I cannot take any more of this. You got back to the fish dudes, then, all right? No, I can't. I, I can't do it. Julia, you gotta calm Ugh. down. Gotta do it, man. Let's go. Come on. We're nearly through here. Let me just check this way for one second. Let's see. There's a book. Look at all these notes that are flying around, though. All clues about something that might be happening on the vessel. So, what does this one read, huh? Let's take a look. Maybe on the back. There's no information on this book. It's just literally. We picked this up. Oh, wait. Then we open it. Okay. So what's he writing then? It looks like logs. June 19, I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of Cargo Hold 1. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Well, that's something, I guess, so they managed to maintain the boat and any small issues that were arising as a result. All right, so we move on through a little bit more. Flisk on that way. Let's see. Any other option ways we can go? Doesn't look like it. So this is the sleeping quarters that we're going through right now. Another row. You know, I already got to investigate. Listen, I see it, Glenn. I check it out. Dude, I'm like a magpie right now, you know? So what can I look at? Maybe it's around... Oh, it's around the other side there. Dude, that looks like a crusty old fingernail. Can I just take a look at that? What the heck is... Okay, that's a rag. Is it... It's a small skull. That's like a rat skull or something. Okay, don't be talking right now. Well, interesting find. Ooh. The whole time. The rat, dude. Keep it together. I wonder if the fumes are still leaking slightly through this place, you know? Listen, this is why you see a ghost ship, you don't go on it. This is interesting. Another logbook. Let's see. Maybe it furthers the uh, notes we've read before. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and has been quiet as a church ever since. Got talking to a fellow who had helped load up the ship. They told me to put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe, but he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise, not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. Interesting. Got me thinking, what could be in those boxes? For to the 13th, not good. Which was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from down the supplies they lifted. at meeting up later down on six to check it out. Day after, just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at the boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons we can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Do I want to find the next book? So we saw those coffins all placed neatly together before, and it's all just linking back up. Not in a good way either. Bliss. Where the heck you at? I feel like I hear walking. That's gotta be Fliss, right? Maybe investigating the place? Looking around whilst we do this? Nothing that side. So we've gotta go through the door. Also, Julia, please keep up. My dude, you've gotta not lag behind. This was just waiting to walk through. Awfully croaky. Wait, where are we? Hold up. We're back in the tanker, maybe? Slightly different zone. Maybe this? This one. Okay, listen, I hear liquid. Turn that light off, Alex. Come on. Hold it right at your chest so it's one of the dudes. Shh. Everyone quiet. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Dude, hand over the thing completely, right? Okay, here we go. I'm expecting a small QT sequence here. What does he see? He placed it down. Maroon. So we need that. We need that. Look. It's the distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yep. Yeah, I'm sure. For sure. Oh, it's on. He's got a sledgehammer. Okay. So that was Olsen. Our lead guy, right? I'm gonna go get it. <sighs> No choice, hold up. We need to be careful. Yeah, we gotta be careful with this. We need to be careful. For sure. This could be our only chance. She's right, listen, there's no convincing her. It's her ship, she wants it. Her vessel, you know? That's her life. All right, here we go. QTEs inbound and I'm not hype. 
I'm not hyped, here we go. How are you gonna get back up, Fliss? Getting down is sometimes easier than getting back up, right? Holy crap. What is it? They're coming back. What's going on? Uh, one Fliss, hide. One Fliss, one Fliss, definitely. Dude, someone's coming! That was wise to do. Oh, it's this guy again, okay. Let's see. I'm on edge, I'm on edge! I'm gonna try to take him out. Come here! Oh man, he's so hot. Oh man, she's here we go, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Dude, he's choking her out. What can we do? What can we do? There's gotta be something we can do! Where are the others? Wait, what? I didn't get no QTEs for that. Was there nothing I could do? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas! Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Okay, so was that uh, that had to happen, I guess? Nice. You're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. Hmm. Okay, this is where the game can get much doing? more tricky. Than we're right. following them. We gotta keep our distance. Okay, at the same time. Okay. We'll be in a somewhat smart place. Yeah, hopefully so, man. 2.18 a.m. So it's the same night still. Dude, they got Fliss! And there was nothing I could do about it! No QTEs giving me the option! Listen, I was more than prepared right there. But I guess... Listen, things don't always work out. It's how you work with them. Let's check around here at least a little bit. Okay, we've got another note just there. Let's take a look. Internal memorandum. So this is another snippet of paper ripped to the, the bomb. Oh, okay. good god. Why do I need to see this now? And they put the bodies there before. So Area 7C has been converted into a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Signed, Corporal Moore. Hold up. Before we finish up, let me check on the back. Nothing. Just a piece of blank paper. Always worth doing though, sometimes they leave little scribbles, more personal messages. Be a personal encounter, some reason why we shouldn't be checking it, you know? Alright, so where are we headed to now? What was that? This you boat that? is talking right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me check back this way a little bit. What do we see? Listen, there's always an alternate path sometimes we can go down. Not this time, though. It's worth doing. We might find something that can help us out. Okay, then, guys. And so for this part, this is where I'm going to leave this here. Now, the game is starting to get very interesting. We finally actually boarded the vessel, and this is where the horrors commence. We're already seeing elements of ghosts somehow, like, getting into our brain. And we know that this ship, whilst it looks nice and quiet, things are living within. With all that said, though, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. And the next part will be real soon. If you guys did, why not drop me that like crane? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. Enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.